Welcome to episode 3 of our 2024 Bali travel series. In this episode we take a look at our hotel, stake out our favourite restaurant where breakfast was about $3, lunch and dinner about $4-$5 to $5 per person. Then we go to the main market and then check out the beach. So come and journey with us. After breakfast at Melbourne International Airport, we boarded our Jetstar A321neo for a 6 hour comfortable flight to Bali. It was off season, so the flight, although full, had spare seats. <laughs> the first thing was a toilet stop, Bali style. After picking up our bags and going through border control, which was digital, we were transported from the airport to our hotel in Seminyak, about 35 minutes by car. As I had booked through booking.com, I took advantage of a free offer for transport to the hotel, worth about $20 New Zealand. <laughs> we arrived at the Tajili Seminyak Hotel before the 2 p.m. check-in time, so we used our welcome drink voucher by the pool. Cheers! Cheers. We, we made it. We made it. Cheers. No, no dramas, no llamas. <laughs> Cheers. Well, a few you you're, you're smiling as usual, Bev. Yeah. You're smiling today. Are you smiling today, Teresa? This is your first first time to Bali. Yeah, yes, How do you I like it? See. Yes, I like it. Ooh, very sweet. Very Good. Nice. Very very warm. Yeah, great trip so yeah. far. Seems like we've been on the road for three weeks. That's right. But it's only been it's only been two days. Our holiday brief was to have fun, and that included enjoying the hotel and its environment. So let's take a look at this. Police! <laughs> Police! We come to check out your room. Come on in! Oh why not? Why not? Why not? Oh lovely. Oh, uh, oh lovely, look at that. Hey, we haven't yeah. got the tea peanuts. Hey? Oh, we've got a lot of peanuts. Peanuts. Three dollars. Wow. Fantastic room. Oh, fantastic room. Better than my room, is it? Yeah, yeah, you've got the views. No, but you've got a pool. Have we? No, I don't, I don't know. I have to look out the window. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's good. It's that nice. Yeah. Rooms here are clean, comfortable, with excellent air conditioning. It was really nice to come back here after being in 34 degrees heat. Our room had a poolside view. We also had views out west and also of our clothes, which also meant some beautiful sunsets. Cheers. Mm. I can honestly say this is not the first beer I've had today. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You're gonna be oh, going to the goodness. toilet a lot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel pool was the focus of our attention on many occasions. That'll be twenty dollars, please, Chris. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's a treat to be cool, isn't it? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Are you enjoying life now, Bev? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Merry holidays. Cheers. Here's to warm weather. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thanks, Steve. Is it good? We're on the top floor. What did you say about just what? I said just what was needed, a nice cool swim. 
Oh, it's so nice. G'day, Steve. Fancy meeting you here, Chris. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is the place to cool off. Yeah. No fainting from uh, too much heat. No, no. And, oh. you know, I reckon I know that you're not wearing any silk undies at the moment. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, but I've just done the uh, lace up in case they fall down. <laughs> Is this the life? This is the life. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might just stay here. <laughs> I might have tried those fishes, you know. While Chris, Bev and I were enjoying the pool, Teresa would be enjoying a massage at $10 per hour for a full body. Yeah. Yeah. It's the going rate. 10 bucks an hour. Something like that. Just come inside. Nice and cool inside. Yeah, no, we might come back. Yeah, we're we'll coming back. Yeah, we're just looking today. Yeah, now, now you'll be able to see in the final video what you look like under water. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Supposed to do 10 metres underwater. The staff were incredibly friendly and helpful, and they would always greet us when we went in or out of the hotel. Hello, good morning. Good, thank you. Well, we've just come down for dinner here, and uh, yeah, the restaurant is packed. <laughs> oh no, there's two other people here as other than us. That makes six people. Dinner at the hotel was good, but as it was outdoors with no air conditioning, we didn't eat there except on a couple of occasions. The hotel lift had this mesmerizing whistle every time we got into it, which we tried to imitate. The shops where we bought SIM cards and essential supplies like beer and peanuts were located just a few minutes walk from the hotel. Along the way we had to avoid these daily offerings which are scattered everywhere on the footpath. The day after we arrived in Seminyak and during our exploration process we came across the Warren Kessel restaurant which was so good it became our go-to restaurant for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Next we decided to order a Gojek cab for about two dollars for the four of us to go up to the local market. Here we are uh, <laughs> go go taking away. This is uh, Chris's first shot at ordering a go check. <laughs> Your turn next. Oh. It's a Bev's turn next, is it? Yeah. Oh strange. <laughs> So you'll get yours turned on the front seat when it's your turn to order the Gojek. <laughs> the two main taxis here are Gojek, the equivalent of Uber, and Bluebird. The Bluebird cabs are recognisable by their blue colour. At the Semenya main market. Oh yeah, it feels quite nice on. Yeah. Did did you say this is what you need, Bev? I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fan. <fair>. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Here at the market restaurant, you can take Balinese cooking lessons for $50. You can make your cake and eat it as well. At the end of the shopping spree, we had a selfie with one of the shopkeepers and then decided to walk up to Coup d'etat bar. Cheers. What's your name anyway? Chris. Chris and you? Uh, I'm Steve. Steve. Who? Steve. Oh, Steve. Yeah. How does that look? Handsome man. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. yeah. Handsome man. You want to marry him? You want to marry him? He, he, he has wife. No, no, he got no wife. No wife? No, no. Oh. Twenty-five. Have you got husband? Have you got a husband? Years, no wife. Have you been married? Yes, twenty-eight years. Uh, where, where, where was she? She got divorced. Oh, divorced. Have you, have you got a husband? Have you got a husband? Oh, you already got one. Oh, you no need it. You don't need another one then. <laughs> no, Too I can't. Trouble. I can't. I can't uh, married. After the second shopping spree of the day. Chris, I and Bev went down to the beach. It was too hot for Teresa, so she took shelter by the shops. The beach sand was so hot that Chris burnt the bottoms of his feet. The air temperature was about 34 degrees C. It's warm. Water's warm. Lovely. Wow, that's great. For a late lunch, we headed back to the Warren Kessel. Yes, uh, for, for the lady, madam. Right, one vol two volcanoes. Mmm. <laughs> what a great day we had. An absolutely delicious meal. Authentic Balinese cuisine. And to top it off, two cocktails for the price of one back at the hotel. $5 per cocktail. <laughs>